What's up guys? Thanks for stopping back by the channel. So, wanted to get one in today and talk a little bit about uh, the pay. Mechanics pay, maybe you know, talk about what I, as a business owner, pay myself. Can't already believe that it's halfway through the year, 2019. Came in this morning, going through some of my numbers, seeing if I could adjust and all that stuff, normal, typical business owner stuff. But uh, I want to talk a little bit about you know, the ways I was paid as a mechanic, my thoughts on it and what I pay myself as a business owner. So check it out. Shut up and sit down. <laughs> All right, guys. So before we get to it, a couple, uh, couple little side things here. I'll be picking the uh, JRC 54 giveaway probably first or second week of July. So you guys stay tuned for that. I'll be picking that off the Toolheads website. Secondly, the Lumina. Got a lot of good responses on it. Got a lot of good ideas what we're going to put inside this motor. That video is coming hopefully this weekend. I would probably say we're going to go through all the comments, pick, uh, you know, get you guys' ideas, maybe put them on a raffle and all that and get the drawing on there, see what we pick to see what we're going to put in this thing to see uh, how long it lasts before she blows. Um, but uh, getting to it, we're already halfway through 2019, guys. And uh, came in early this morning, jumped on the computer. I always check my profit and losses, and you know, kind of see where I'm at, where I can adjust, or you know, if if I need to uh, do any kind of write-offs, or you know, am I in the red or the black? You know, I kind of do that frequently, maybe at least every three months. But we're already halfway through the year, kind of seeing where I'm at. But it brings up kind of a known thing, and it brings up. The pay rate, you know, what are you guys making hourly, and we you know the, what I've gotten paid coming up as a tech. You know, are you hourly? Are you flat rate? Are you commission? Are you salary? You know, I've been them all. I did them all. You know, and I've made some. Of, I've said it in my videos. I've made some of my best money on flat rate, working to flat rate. That's how I pay myself now. Um, but coming up, you know, I was I was a technician making a minimum wage, you know, getting out of school, paying student loans back, making just normal minimum wage salary work and pay. And, uh, you know, it was barely enough to get by. I get it. It's uh, The struggles are real out there. But I've also worked for some good shops with innovative ways to pay technicians. All right, guys. Sorry about that. So, but get into it. Don't know where I left off. But I've gotten paid, I've gotten paid every, you name it, I've gotten paid it. You know, starting off, obviously I worked hourly, then I worked for a shop that was hourly, and I got a percentage of, you know, jobs sold, you know, whether it was a, a battery, you know, I get 2% of every battery sold, or I get like 3% of each alignment sold after the end of the week or the month or however they did it. It's been a long time, I can't remember. Um, and then I've worked, obviously, the flat rate. I've worked at shops that pay just flat rate. You know, they don't pay anything over 40 hours. They don't pay anything extra. They'll pay time and half. I've worked at shops where I've made some of my best money where I've made flat rate and then anything over 40 hours flat rate was time and a half. And then I've also worked for shops that I got paid pretty much both. You, I got a guarantee. So no matter what, I know I could live my life. You know, I was making, you know, taking 600 home or 700 home for the week. And then, you know, if my flat rate, my work produced for that week over exceeded the 600, I'd get whatever one was greater. So it was kind of a nice way to get it paid because even on the slow seasons or, you know, you got sick or you died on a car that week, you know, at least you know that you'd be at least taking home the 600 bucks because, you know, bills don't fluctuate. You know, I, my, my mortgage doesn't fluctuate. Well, it does. Taxes go up all the time. But, you know, I have a set of bills that I have to pay each month. Most of the time it's more and not less. Why should my pay change or to be any different? You know, I should make an, either the same amount or more for that month or that week, you know. So that was a decent way of getting paid. I made good money on that, but it gave me incentive to work harder. You know, I, if I didn't, if I needed more than 600 bucks for that week, you know, I would work harder that week because I'd want my flat rate pay instead, you know. <coughs> That's another way of getting paid. And I say this because I think about this as an employer. You know, like I said, Steve works hourly now, but you know, I'd like to get him built up. You know, maybe get him on something flat rate, or get him on something where he, you know, maybe a commission at the end of the year. You know, we do do bonuses at this shop. You know, we the shop hits a certain amount at the end of the month. Everybody bonuses. I do. Lauren does. Steve will. You know, we have certain you know numbers that we hit if we hit or beat the previous year, things like that. We do bonus, and I just give a percentage of anything extra that was opposed for, from the following year. Um, but you know, as an owner, and I'm sure shops you work for, you know, always trying to think of ways to pay these technicians in a fair way, you know, because I, I believe hourly, 
you know, it's a good way to get paid, but there's going to be a cap off of that. You know, in this area, you know, if you're getting paid hourly as a technician, I mean, unless you're banging out work and all that stuff, I mean, you're pretty much going to max out at, you know, 16, 17, 18 dollars an hour. A shop's not going to pay anything more than that hourly, you know, especially unless it's a shop booming with 10, 15 techs, you know, you might get 20 dollars an hour, but, you know, there's no tech out there making 35 dollars an hour in this area you know, just on regular hourly pay. There's no way. Flat rate, yes, that's pretty much the goal. You know, 20 and above is pretty much where flat rate starts off around here. But, you know, hourly, you make, there's a cap off there. And that's, I kind of, you know, I, I, there's a limit to what you can make hourly. I mean, as far as salary goes, I've gotten paid salary. Uh, that was for a shop that I did work up front and work in the back. Um, you know, depending on if the days I was out in the shop, I got paid my flat rate. The days I was in the office, I got paid a salary, and which was like three days a week, so it was a guaranteed pay. But uh, another way of getting paid, things that I've thought about, is kind of like how tattoo artists get paid, uh, where they get a percentage of the work, you know, the work they, they produce out there. You know, so pretty much, you know, if a shop's charging $100 an hour, $150 an hour or whatever, the technician would get a percentage of that. I mean... Should he get half of it? No. I mean, he's going to get, you know, maybe 20, 30 percent, 35 percent, whatever it is, because you got to think about it. You know, it's the employer's hard work. It's the employer's building. You know, it's the employer's rack, electricity, phone bill it takes to, you know, sell the job to get in contact with the customer. You know, it's the employer's money buying the parts to get the job done, things like that. But, uh, you know, that should be another way of getting paid. I don't know if any of you guys out there get paid a percentage like tattoo artists do when, you know, they make basically renting a spot technicians kind of figure it as like renting the bay you know unless they bring all the business in you know you could pay a technician a percentage of all the work they're getting done Pro probably make good money doing that I know I probably would but uh, and that's kind of like how the flat rate pay is except so if a shop's taking in 150 bucks an hour you know for labor and a tech's only making you know $15 an hour flat rate you know that's really not too fair you know but you got to think there's more to it at, in that 150 bucks you know the electricity's got to be paid with that you know, the, 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 the telephone line's got to be paid with that. You know, the shop supply's got to be paid with that. There's a lot that goes into that 150 bucks an hour. It's not just, you know, paying the technician. You know, we got to pay the technician. We got to buy all the supplies. We got to get the parts, all that stuff. So there's a lot more to it in that 150 bucks that gets used. At the end of it, you know, there might be, you know, maybe, maybe the shop owner's making $50 profit, you know, things like that. So that's what's nice when I actually get these jobs in, knock the jobs out. I know I'm getting paid my $50 an hour, and then anything extra obviously would go towards the shop or go towards utilities or bills, things that need to be taken care of at, here at the shop. But don't want to get too far into this. Just want to bring up a few points. What do you? What's your preferred method of getting paid out there, guys? How do you guys get paid? Do you like being on hourly, getting paid hourly, and having a cap off, at least in this area you do? Because there is a limit to everything. They don't just... Most shops don't want to give raises at all around here, let alone just keep giving you raises every year. You know, next thing you know, in 10 years, you're making $40 an hour an hour. It's not going to happen in this industry. You know, you got to step it up to either getting the salary or commission or step it up to flat rate at, in order to make the big bucks. You know, there was times here when I pay, got paid flat rate, you know, I was taking home 1300 clearing 1300 a week. You know, and, and, and those, those were on decent months. I mean, my busier months, you take 2000 home a week. I mean, it's... Taxes were big. It was big back then. I was in a different bracket. It kind of sucked, and I don't want to ever get there again. That's why I do these helping texts. That's why I do these, you know, these giveaways, and that's why I make sure I have my write-offs because I, I'd rather keep the money for the community, keep the money for my shop, keep the money for myself, than paying the IRS more money. You know, it's just I got better things to do with the money than give it to the government, and that's just how I feel about that. But. I enjoy working flat rate. That's why I pay myself flat rate. 50 bucks an hour I think is fair as a shop owner on this side of it. And sometimes it's less. You know, if I see I have to pay my bills first, so you know, I may be thinking I'm walking home with a certain amount for the week, but then a bill comes in or taxes come in or anything comes in that's unexpected, I, it's gotta get paid. So that comes out of my pay. You know, it is what it is being a shop owner, but I think that's a fair amount for where I'm at in my career. Um, let me know your guys' thoughts. You know, what do you guys get paid an hour? Do you like getting paid? I personally like the flat rate system, the commission system, a lot of good ideas. It's a broken system. Maybe get your boss to change their ways. Who knows? Maybe next thing you know, you could be getting a, you know, a percentage out of that $150 an hour you know, labor rate that your shop's charging. You never know. But as always, guys, like, comment, subscribe. Catch you in the next one. Signing out.